Hello, hi. My name is Alana and this is the Alana Star Show. I am so happy to have you with me today. If this is your first time, um, could you please hit the like button um, and subscribe to my channel so that you can get those notifications when I come on or when I upload a new video. Um, I'm so excited to be here. Um, the video today is going to be about um, auditions and Zoom auditions because I had my very first Zoom audition, I would say, about two days ago. And um, in that experience for me, like, because I was thinking, okay, this is not an actual audition where I go in person and I meet with, you know, a panel of people and I do my piece, you know, um, whatever I choose. Okay, so uh, my Zoom audition, I was, you know, required to select um, a monologue or, you know, um, whatever of my choice, which I did and recited. Okay, so once I got through at least half of the monologue, I had pretty much blanked out. So I was a little bit, oh my gosh, I pretty much blanked out um, during the monologue because I got nervous and I forgot my lines. So I had to pretty much like at live and just go with what I thought would work best with the case scenario. Okay, so for you guys, I'm going to read the monologue to you, or at least act out what I did. So this is what the lady saw. This is a piece called Evo, and the character's name is Sasha. So what can I possibly, what can you possibly have to tell me? That you are a man of honor? The whole world knows it. You had better tell me whether you understand what you have done or not. Okay, so that was the first part of the monologue. And, um, oh yeah, and then I had did this line too. You have come in here as a man of honor, and you have insulted him so badly that you have nearly killed me. So this monologue is basically about a woman who's talking to a man about his wrongdoings. Um, he has not been the best man, um, I guess, to someone in this story. It doesn't really say give much information about it, but um, he must be a doctor or some type of profession, and he just must have been some type of cruel and mean and ornery man. So this woman is a little bit furious with this man, but she speaks in a way where I know that this isn't like a 21st century piece, so it was a little bit challenging to get it memorized because we're in the 21st century and as we know we don't talk like that <laughs> so it was a little bit difficult for me to um, get the lingo down but I think what I needed to do was pick something that I could do that would be a piece that's serious because when I was auditioning um, I forget the title of um, what this play is about but I know it has a lot to do with Black Lives Matter um, and it also has a lot to do with what's going on because from my understanding when I read the description it would be based in Chicago and oh, oh my gosh oh no I dropped my phone okay it's fine okay so I'm sorry I was a bug okay so it was based it's based in Chicago and um, basically um, it's going to be some protesters, um, Black Lives Matter people, so this is like a real serious thing. And so um, basically they're going to have protesters, they're going to have people that are singing, they're going to have, um, you know, it's kind of like going to be like a real thing, but it's not a real thing. So um, yeah, so it's serious. So I wanted to do something serious, but I think it, it could have been something that was a little bit more for the 21st century. And then a lot of times, you know, I'm trying to find monologues that I can audition with that I know that fit and that are cultured. I mean, it doesn't always necessarily have to be cultured. It doesn't have to be like I try to watch movies to see like, okay, I don't want to always be the angry black woman or I don't always want to be, you know, but you kind of want to pick roles that 
you know, African that are realistic to what you see that are going on in movies and how they depict African American women. Um, so, you know, th those are all things that I need to incorporate. I do have a few more Zoom auditions coming up within the next couple of days. So I basically have been doing my research um, to try to find monologues that I think that I can really do um, that are more of the 21st century, that are more relatable. I know I can do it because I've done Shakespeare before. And if anybody that is an actress or an actor that has ever done Shakespeare, you know that that is not easy. And you know that because of the way that they talk in that time period, it's much different than how we talk today. So it can be a little bit, you know, like, whew. but, <laughs> but, you know, I just have not, you know, I've just been doing a lot of research. That's all. And sometimes, you know, to see which one I'm strong, the strongest in and, and that I can audition and audition well. Okay, so a few things that you can do if you ever blank out during an audition is to ask if you can start over, but you don't want to do that too many times. The next time I'm definitely going to have, number one, have a piece that I know that I can do. Number two, make sure that I'm fully prepared before the interview that I know this monologue like the back of my hand that I feel confident about it that I, it's like okay I got this audition I'm getting ready to go in and I'm getting ready to kill it because I know that I can do it okay so that's number two and if I ever blank out I think I did a great job with at living because I pretty much just made the rest of it up <laughs> and then I closed and then I closed it out at the end so you know I didn't do terrible you know I didn't do I think I did a lot better than I thought I did at the time but there's always room for improvement so you know it was it was good though I mean it's it was good to get those nerves out because it would be like you know maybe like two or three people on the zoom meeting and that you have to audition for so you want to make sure that you do a great job and then also it's always good to be multi-talented to be able to sing because she said can you sing and I'm like no I can't sing <laughs> I can carry a tune though like if I was in a chorus um I could sing in a group but just don't give me a solo <laughs> but you know I probably wouldn't do too bad if I had some vocal lessons but that's besides the point okay so the best thing to do is just to be confident and reassure yourself and to um, you know do something that you feel 100% confident in do something that the 21st century I try to find something that's not that I can that I can speak in you know that I can just talk regular that I'm not like you know for thou is the king of thou name archer or, <laughs> or for thy power mm -hmm. you know so that's that and I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to like subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and I'm going to be you know giving you guys more monologues and things like that and I'm going to see if I can record one of my zoom meetings or zoom monologues so then that way you can see what my audition looked like in person okay so thank you guys bye bye